Creating new affordable housing in the midst of a housing crisis and strengthening economic stability in low-income communities. These efforts have long been an integral part of CCC's work to ensure families have the tools needed to promote their well-being. Tonight, CCC is proud to recognize m and Bank, a financial institution that shares our commitment to improving the lives of New Yorkers with an emphasis on giving back to communities. We recently sat down with Peter Darcy, Senior Executive Vice President and Head of Commercial Banking at M&T. We value Peter and M&T's longtime support of CCC. Let's hear what he had to say. When you look at the city, there's 1.8 million children in New York City and a third of them live in poverty. That's something that is a shocking statistic given the wealth in this city and the affluence. And CCC is data-driven. Much like the company that I work for, it's so important to understand the root cause, understand the information. It's really hard to attack a problem if you don't fully see it and understand it. And CCC is a vital organization. What's more important than keeping the children of the city healthy, housed, educated, and safe? It's foundational. You have to understand the problem in order to address it. So m and purpose is to make a difference in people's lives. And to do that, you have to get involved. For m and that's about volunteerism at the core of what we do. Since we're so locally driven in our focus, we spend a lot of time deciding where we want to make an impact. And then we band together as employees and we spend time in the field. We get involved. While we're bankers, primarily, if the communities that we operate in are not successful, not healthy, then we're not gonna do well. We just look at that as a foundational responsibility to play an active role in the communities where we serve. And that's something that I um, really love how much commonality there is between CCC and m and Bank. So as a product of New York City, having grown up, for those of you that know the city, in a Michelama building that we were very lucky as a family to have access to and to and to live in i saw firsthand growing up a lot of the challenges and risks of growing up in the city to health education safety a lot of the core tenants that ccc is focused on and i'm fortunate now that i'm able to give back For more than 60 years, CCC's Community Leadership course has brought New Yorkers together to learn the ins and outs of child advocacy. The course gives a comprehensive look at how programs and policies impact the lives of children and the role that every New Yorker can play in making a difference. CCC has been fortunate to have board member Marcy Sandler helping lead the course. Universally admired by staff and volunteers, Marcy has helped guide the organization through times of fiscal uncertainty and CCC has come out stronger with a commitment to strategic growth and diversity. Tonight, we are thrilled to recognize Marcy alongside her husband, James Janover, whose support over two decades has helped CCC remain a strong and constant champion for New York's children and families. I really feel that CCC is a crucial conduit for ensuring, as we have said for such a long time, that every New York City child should be healthy, housed, educated, and safe. And we have this most amazing partnership. We have an extremely strong but lean professional staff. We have an unbelievable board and volunteer base. And those two groups combine to create a multiplier effect in how our work can really impact New York's children and families through our advocacy across so many issue areas. And, and that's really what I think resonates the most with me in terms of being able to get the message out and to truly make change for New York's families. Marcy said it better than I ever could about the organization. And the only thing that I would add is, is I think one of the unique things about CCC is the fact that CCC is at its core a fact-based child advocacy organization. And in the world we live in today, where it seems increasingly that facts don't matter, what's really critical is that CCC is there to provide that fact-based advocacy. When you think about sort of the keeping track database, industry leading database, and is used by so many thousands of different people to advocate on behalf of New York City's children, I think that is one of uh, CCC's absolute unique assets. 
I love that we get a new group every fall. Each year it's a little bit different, but there's sort of this magical alchemy that happens each year that's really special. What I say to each of them when I meet them is that they're gonna end up learning just as much from one another as they will from the amazing CCC staff, as well as our outside speakers. Participating in the CLC was important and meaningful to me because it's in total alignment with the work that I do. I work for the Fresh Air Fund, a sleepaway summer camp for boys and girls, where we provide opportunities free for them to experience life outside of the city. And CCC gave me tools to better advocate and also to really relate to the families that I'm trying to recruit for our programs. My first introduction to the organization was meeting Marcy for my interview, which I was nervous at first, but the moment I saw her, her warmth, her sincerity, her honesty, and most importantly, in my assessment, she got it, and we connected on that. Marcy, job well done. Thank you for welcoming me into the CCC family. You know, I've been involved in this organization for nearly a quarter of a century, which is kind of a mind-boggling amount of time when you really think about it. I give Jennifer and the leadership team so much credit for evolving the organization forward keeping up with the times. This was an organization founded in the 1940s. We're in the 2020s. And while the values and the goals remain similar, times are very different. And I think we're so well positioned for the future and I'm so proud of that.